friends, welcome to Nutpuddle Sasha. Today in this video, we are going to see the states of water and some special properties of water. We know that water exists in three forms, ice, water vapor and water. The water we drink is a liquid state of water. When we boil water, we get water vapor or steam. Steam is the gaseous state of water. When we freeze water, we get ice. Ice is the solid state of water. Let's see about these states in detail. When water is cooled to 0 degree Celsius, it changes into ice. The process by which the liquid state of water changes to its solid form, ice or snow, on cooling is known as freezing. Melting is just opposite to freezing. The process by which the solid state of water changes into its liquid state as the temperature increases is known as melting. The temperature at which the water changes into ice is known as its freezing point and the temperature at which the ice changes into water is known as its melting point. When water is heated to 100 degrees Celsius, it begins to boil and changes into vapor. The process by which the liquid state of water changes into its gaseous state on heating is known as vaporization. The process by which the gaseous state of water changes into its liquid state on cooling is known as condensation. That is, water vapor changes into water on cooling. The process of conversion of water from its liquid state to its gaseous state below its boiling point is known as evaporation. The process by which ice changes into water vapor without changing into water is known as sublimation. Solidification is just opposite of sublimation. The process by which water vapor changes into ice without becoming water is known as solidification. Now, let's see some of the special properties of water. Water has unique features when compared to other liquids. Water expands when it freezes whereas almost all other liquids contract when they freeze. It is because of the reason that a water bottle or a soft drink bottle should never be kept in the freezer for too long because the contents will expand on freezing and there is a chance that the bottle may get burst. The solid form of any liquid is heavier than the liquid form but the solid form of water is lighter than its liquid so ice floats in water. This unusual property is important in nature. In areas with lower temperature, the upper layer of the water freezes, so the ice floats on the surface of the water. The frozen layer of the ice insulates the water underneath. This allows aquatic plants and animals to survive in extreme cold conditions. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, share, and subscribe my channel. Also leave your comments below. I'll meet you in the next video with a continuation of water. Until then, bye bye from Sasha.